Alright guys, welcome to your 8th and final Vuex tutorial and in this video I'm going to show you how we can map our getters and our actions to our components. Alright then, so before I finish up with this series I want to show you one more little nifty trick and that is how we can map our actions and map our getters to our different components. So right now in product list 1, this component, we just have this one thing right here, this one getter and we have this one action call right but imagine if we had on the store over here uh, we defined various getters maybe six or seven and various different actions and mutations and we wanted to call a lot of them from here as well now what we could do is we could go down and we could add each computed property to return the particular getter we want and the same for dispatching the different actions that we want or what we could do is we could just map the getters to our computed properties and map the actions to our methods which is the easier way if we've got several different getters and several different actions and now we've only got one getter and one action here but I just want to demonstrate how we do this if we had more so the first thing we need to do is import the map getters and the map actions from Vuex so we can say import and then we're going to import map actions and then we're importing that from view x and again we need to say import this time it's going to be map getters from view x as well okay cool so now we've imported those we can use them and the way we'd map our actions or map all of our getters to the computer properties and methods here is pretty simple all we need to do is get rid of that and we can say dot 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 map getters like so and inside here we can say which getters we want to map inside an array so this right here is a spread operator which basically is going to get the getters and it's going to spread them into different com uh, computed properties if you like okay and this is an ES6 function and we're going to have to do something in a minute to make this work but for now let's just say which getters we want to map to our computed properties and there's only one that we've created and that is sale products okay so it's going to grab then this sale products getter right here and it's going to map it to our computed properties so that it appears here and if we had several you can just list them like so your next one and your next one down below there okay so this is a lot easier than just creating all of the different computed properties to return the getters that we want like I said we only have one at the minute so we'll just put that in there Okay, so we've mapped those now and we can do the same thing with the actions. So instead of this, inside the methods, we can say dot dot dot, the spread operator, map actions. And inside, we can also pass through the array of the different actions that we want to map to these methods in this component. And again, we just have one at the minute, which is reduce price. And we can see that in the store. It's this action down here, reduce price. So we're just mapping this one at the minute to this component however if we had more again we could just comma separate them and add them on okay so it's a really nice way to add our different getters and actions to a component but i did say a minute ago we're going to need to do something else so that this works so if we try this at the minute in a browser then we're probably going to get an error in the console you can see this thing right here it doesn't recognize it that's because this is ES6 functionality and out of the box it's not supported in browsers so fortunately we are using Babel and Babel is a tool which transpiles ES6 code into JavaScript that browsers understand so in order for this to work all we need to do is install a Babel preset so that Babel can use that to transpile this functionality into JavaScript that the browser understands so that we can use this make sense so what we want to do is open up our console and we want to do an install so we'll say npm install and we're going to install the babel hyphen preset and it's going to be preset stage hyphen two and we're going to save this so we'll say double dash save to our dev dependencies hit enter that's going to install it for you all right, so once that's installed, we need to do one more thing, and that's go to this .babelrc file, and inside here, we need to add a comma after this, and we need to add in the stage two preset. 
that we've just installed. So we'll add the square bracket notation, then it's stage hyphen two. So if we save this now, and if we go to a browser, I'm gonna refresh, then hopefully this should work. No, it doesn't. Okay, so what I actually need to do is come to the console over here where we're running the program. I'm gonna cancel out of this, and then I'm gonna run npm run dev again, just to rerun this and retranspile the code. And now once that's rerun, we can come over here and refresh, and this should work now. Cool, now we get no errors. So now this has worked, and if we click on this, it's still gonna reduce the price, cool. So that is how we can map getters and how we can map actions to our components much easier than creating separate computing properties and methods for each different getter and action we want to use.